I've seen a lot of content online that blames Squarespace for having bad SEO, or at least questions Squarespace's SEO capabilities, and I want to call user error on that. SEO is so much more than just the platform itself that you're building on. It has so much to do with um, design and structure and just so many things. I have another video um, giving you in like an intro to SEO and how to start building it and creating it for yourself. But in this video, I want to talk you through your SEO site description and how to write it um, and where to put it on the back end of your Squarespace website. So the, this description is going to go to the search engines. You're going to feed it your keywords. It will help you help Google know how to rank you in search. Um, and it's what's going to show up if somebody searches for you and they see the description of your site. If you send your site link to someone, it, it often shows up on social media or in like a text message sometimes. Um, so it's very important to have this element. It also can help your SEO score. Um, just a variety of things. So if you're looking to improve your SEO score on Squarespace, this is a great place to start. So First things first, I'm going to go over to this tool that I love to use um, on seoability.net. I will leave this in the description for you to click and come over to this page. What you need to do is just scroll down here to this description section. And this is where you can write and edit your SEO site description. So you can watch my other video for how to craft it. Um, this is really just the best place to write it and get the, the right length for it. So that's why I use this tool. So you can see, I'm just going to type some random stuff. Um, if I add more text, this bar turns red. That means it's, it's too long of a description. Um, it's not good for SEO anymore. It's going to get cut off and people won't be able to read it. You can see what the preview looks like right here, um, what it'll show up in search. So you really just want to write your description here for the length, and then we're going to copy and paste this over into your website. So I'm going to do this. So once you start typing, you're going to want to use your brand name, your personal name, whatever your website is. Definitely want to get that in there. Your main keywords that you want to rank for, definitely use those in your SEO site description. As you type, you will see this yellow bar. It will stay yellow, then it'll turn green when it is a great length for SEO. And if you get too long, it will be red. And the reason I use this tool is because Squarespace allows you to put more characters than the green does here. So you want to optimize it over here, and then we're going to copy and paste it over into Squarespace. So I change mine um, every now and then. I've decided to change mine today. So I'm going to use this as my description, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come over here to my Squarespace site and we're going to go into marketing in the left sidebar, marketing tools. At least this is where it lives in the current moment and SEO appearance. And when I scroll down, I'm going to paste it right here. So under SEO site description, and you can see this will allow me to add more characters got like 200 something left. We don't want to do that. We just want to have the optimized amount here. So this is my description. I'm going to hit save. Um, I also see that if I X out of here, if I would come into settings, I could also get to that same spot right here under SEO appearance. And that is how you write and optimize and add your SEO site description to your Squarespace website. So if if you don't have this on your website and you have a Squarespace website, get to it. This is probably like step one of adding SEO to your website. If you do nothing, please at least do this. This is super simple um, way to just at least tell the search engines what your, your website is about. So um, good luck. If you have any questions for me, ask me in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.